Okay, we're going to go through the home, homing and limit switch setup. And uh, I'm just going to uh, open this homing and limits just to show you what we need to do here. Here's the axis is X, Y, and Z, and what we're going to do is we're going to populate this table, which I've already done here for my system, for my uh, table. Um, uh, we, we, we need to uh, jog the table around to get the table size. Uh, this little procedure I do to size up the table. Uh, but w what we're going to do is we're going to be driving the table in X, Y uh, to the limit switches, from limit switch to limit switch, the full extreme. And we're going to read the distance on the DROs up here, and that's going to tell us the table size. Now, there's something I want to show you, okay? What I'm going to do, this is just a demonstration here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drive this X axis to the limit switch, okay? Hit the limit switch now. The reset is flashing. Okay. Now, if I want to drive off, now you know we have a system fault here now. So if I want to drive off off the limit switch, the system won't allow me to reset. See it? Can't reset, and if I can't reset, I can't move the uh, table, the um, X, off the limit switch. And you can see in diagnostics here, you can see it's on the limit switch. Okay, so there's a setting here, actually two settings, but I never use the, there's uh, an auto limit override and an override, a manual override. I've never used a manual, I don't, I don't see any purpose to it. I think this was probably a product improvement, the auto limit override, okay. Uh, and what this allows you to do is jog off the button jog off the switch. So when you hit a limit, okay, uh, this is going to allow you to jog off that limit switch. Um, I believe if you use the manual override, you have to open this window up every time. With the auto limit override, you don't. And by the way, this setting is saved. Okay, if you exit Mach 3 and you save fixture setting, uh, fixture settings uh, or save the fixture um, this will be on the next time you uh, boot up so that's good to know you don't have to go into the screen and remember to turn it on it should be on all the time unless you turn it off so anyway let's see how this works now now that we got an override it'll allow me to reset okay which it did and there's a little quirk to this. I don't know if you call it a quirk or not, but uh, remember, I just jogged this thing all the way to the left. So I used the left-hand arrow key, and it hit the limit switch. Now, to get it off the limit switch, I want to go to the right. So I'm going to use the right-hand arrow key, okay? And Mach 3 will not uh, allow you to continue to jog. It's just going to move the surface far enough to get off the switch. Now I'm going to show you, you probably hear it in the camera. Okay, you heard some movement there. It turned the reset back on. So, it moved the switch a tiny bit, usually about 0.05 inches. Just enough to get off the switch, giving the fault. And then if you want to go any further, you have to hit the reset again. Okay, and now we're back in business here. All right. You can hear the motor moving. So you got to get that set up first before we do any process or procedure in, in uh, uh, mapping the table dimensions here. Uh, so I'm going to do, again, I'm going to start out with X. Okay, we're reset. We're good to go here. Once again, I'm going to drive X to the full left limit. 
until it hits the limit switch, and it did, okay? And um, you can see it's flashing reset up there. Okay, and what I'm going to do is 0x, and by the way, this will not 0 unless you hit the reset button. Okay, 0. I'm going to use this DRO to measure the distance traveled between the two uh, limit switches. And so, since I've moved this to the far left extreme using the left arrow key, I'm going to use the right arrow key to move this time. But remember, it's only going to move a very short distance to get off the switch, and you're going to have to reset again to get it to go any further. So let's do that. There it's off the switch. You can see it's reset again. Okay, and now we can go the rest of the way. That's the distance it moved it off the switch, 0.04. Okay, 8.8. .8. Now, I'll probably make that like 8.75, but uh, as a matter of fact, that's what I did you know, when I set mine up. I made it 8.75. Uh, you would want to record this number, okay? And um, really doesn't matter which side of the table you start at. We could have started here and zeroed it out, and we'd come out with minus 8.8. .8. It's It doesn't matter whether it's plus or minus. All that matters is the distance traveled, the absolute distance traveled. So don't get confused with that. You know, if you want to jog the surface all the way to the right and then go to the left, the opposite of the process or procedure I just used, that's fine, but you're going to use the absolute number. That's 8.8 .8 inches, and I took off about, you know, 25, a uh, uh, quarter of an inch. Uh, I didn't take off a quarter inch, I, I reduced it uh, to 8.75. Uh, okay, so we're going to do the same thing with the Y. First, don't forget, we got to get off this. Um, limit switch on the X. And I'm going to show you, if you watch the handle there, this is the override I'm doing this now. To get off this, it's at the far right, it's at the far right extreme right now. I'm going to press the left arrow key and that Mach 3 moved it off the limit switch. Okay. Now I have to reset again to use it any further. Okay, I think you get the idea there. So we'll do just the X. Um, we're already reset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive the Y to an extreme and hit a limit switch. And uh, I'm going to use the page up. Okay, I hit a, hit a limit switch in, in the Y. We're at the full extreme, full forward, this way. I use the up arrow key. Okay, and we're flashing there again. And remember, it's Mach 3 is just going to allow me to move off the switch. But first, I want to zero this. Okay, and now we're going to get off the switch, you know, uh, with the override. You heard it, and we'll click again. And this time we should be able to drive all the way to the other limit and read the DRO, and that'll tell us the distance it traveled. Okay, that's the distance it traveled 3.55. I'd round that off to 3.5, okay, and I did on my paper list here. Uh, now the Z, the Z, I don't have a lower limit switch. I've got a home switch, which, which is at zero, okay? Uh, when we populate this, and we are ready, by the way, to populate, let's, ju let's just, let's just uh, jog off the switch here first. Um, okay. All right, so we're back to a usable table here. So let's go to config, homing and limits, and now we're ready to fill in this table. And you can see I've got X 
8.75, okay, for the maximum, and the soft minimum is zero, and Y, three and a half inches, and the soft min is zero, and now Z is backwards, there is no maximum. Maximum is zero, that's where the home switch is. The head moves in a negative direction as it goes down, okay, now, I don't have a limit switch in a negative direction, so this is a number I put in here, six inches. You could use six and a half. Uh, in fact, I could use six and a half, but you know, six and a half, realistically, once you put a, um, a chuck in there or anything else, six and a half inches uh, uh, probably is, you know, it, it's going to be so close to the table you couldn't get a workpiece under it. So six, six is a good limit. Now, since I don't have a, a lower limit switch here, by the way, these are only going to be used as soft limits uh, in the Z axis on my system. You might have a lower limit switch. Uh, in that case, you would want to do the same procedure for the Z that we just did for the X and Y. Uh, limit, limit switch to limit switch. Okay? And so we're good with this now. We're just going to click OK. We filled it all in. Click OK. And uh, I reset again. Uh, when I hit this ref all home switch, okay, the table should go to its home position. And uh, by watching other videos, by the way, uh, I've seen that it does the Z first, and I think it does the Y second. Goes forward with the Y like this. And then it does the X. I'm going to be ready with the reset button in, in case you know, stuff doesn't happen the way I want it. Uh, so first thing that should happen when I hit the ref, ref all home is that the Z should increase to the home position, which is up higher than it is now. And I'm going to do that. Oop, I'm going to hit the reset button. Okay, it is moving. By the way, it, re it, it, it does this at a reduced speed. 20% of whatever your velocity is set to in, in the motor tuning, it does it at 20% of that speed. It's doing the Y and it's going in the right direction and it's doing the X which is also going in the right direction. So we're good to go here. We're done. I'm not going to uh, test the soft limits. I know that they'll work. And uh, uh, In order to use soft limits you have to I think you have to be in machine coordinates uh, something I never use and uh, click on the soft limits button. It's on right now, okay? And um, I've seen it demonstrated by other guys. Uh, what it does is uh, it acts, uh, uh, it, it in software limits the table movement instead of relying on the limit switches. So, again, not going to use it. So, you want to experiment with it, fine. I mean, you've gotten enough information to have this thing set up, so.